Hey YouTube, welcome to my shop. I'm Mike and I do appreciate you stopping by. I started drawing up a new project uh, to work on and uh, I'm not doing it real happily because I think I'm kind of like uh, every woman. I hate to iron. Now, I'm I know both of my mothers, God love them, they didn't like ironing. And I don't think any of my wives like ironing. I know I don't. When I was working, it was uh, the laundry bill was just put into the budget, you know. But now that I'm not working, I'm a re retard. Uh, I got a little extra time. And with the prices of walnut and maple and cherry, uh, I could probably iron my own clothes and save a save a little money now the lady at the uh, the laundry probably won't like it too much but the guy at the uh, at the lumber yard will, probably will so anyway this is what I've got I'm going to to make a, a ironing board that comes that's put on the wall and that will come down so you can iron um, I'm going to make it out of poplar uh, for the door, a quarter inch uh, ply for the panel in the door, and then plywood uh, for the base of it. Now I'm not going to, to use hinges or movable supports and stuff to hold up the iron. I'm going to try something else. I'm not even sure if it'll work, but I'm going I'm to try it for simplicity's sake. Let me give you a uh, show you exactly what I got here. Um, this is uh, the case. It'll be 44 inches high. I'm going to make it 18 inches wide. Uh, it could be 16 inches wide, but my studs in my house are 16 on center, so I thought I'd give an inch on each side for that. It'll be 7 inches. It'll be 7 inches um, thick. Uh, well, actually, seven and three quarters, because the, there'll be some poplar on the door. Now I've got everything color coded, so I know how many to make of each length, and uh, that works out better for me. So that's uh, that's what the project's going to be. As I say, to keep it up is I'm going to try something. It might have been tried before, I don't know, and uh, it might have been tried before and it doesn't work. So. It might not work and if it doesn't work you won't be seeing this so if you're looking at me right now it probably worked so uh, let's get on with this project okay instead of setting up my table saw and dust collector and all that stuff I just got two shortcuts so I'm just gonna do it the old timing way
I got this little ironing board from uh, Target. And uh, I think in the cover for, uh, is nine bucks. And there we go. See where I'm going with this? Uh, let's keep keep going. All right, we've got to cut three seven inch strips out of this board. First, I'm going to take an eighth of an inch, square it up, turn it around, and uh, start cutting seven inches. I've got the two sides done, uh, 44 inches. Now I've got to do three shelves at 18 and a half inches. 18 wide and a quarter on each end for, uh, for the dado. Let's do it. dado blade in. I, I dadoed uh, the top for the top shelf uh, half inch. Now I'm going to dado the second shelf and then the bottom shelf will be three quarter inch. Let's get this done. This should just take a second. Got to do a little sand on that one. But now the shell should be able to fit in just about like this. Yep, that'll be perfect. Alrighty. This is the dress rehearsal before glue up uh, to make sure everything fits. And I, I highly suggest to everybody do a dress rehearsal first because there's always things that you you can make to or do to make it go together easier so now let me get the wax paper out the glue the brush and we'll do this all over again
right, YouTube, this is uh, the case that's been all uh, glued up and nailed up, so it's ready. Now what I've got is I cut two pieces of wood out of pine here, and then a piece of plywood above it, and what's going to happen is uh, this will slide in there to iron it. Then when you're done, I'll have a, uh, a groove in there that I can just put it down in there and close the door next time open the door bring it out stick it in there and yuck iron let's keep going okay YouTube I guess this uh, finishes the cabinet part of my ironing board all I need to do is make a, a door and it will be two and a half inch poplar with a panel inside so that will be next. All I have to do now is sand this and, and uh, prime it. And uh, then when the door's done, I'll sand it, prime it, and then I'll paint it all together. But that's basically how it's going to work. It, I was what worried that it wouldn't work, but I think it's going to work out fine. The way you do it is you open the, open the door. You grab your ironing board. You just slip it in right here. And there it is except for a little lower. But uh, that should work just fine. Now, uh, as I said, all I have to do is uh, the door, I'm going to cope and stick it. So I'm going to use this Freud router bit set for that. I bought it years ago. I was gonna use it and I never have. It's 80 bucks. So I, you know, that's a lot of money to just sit around the shop doing nothing. So I thought I'd put it to use. And then I'm also going to use my uh, coping sled to make sure the rails are done accurate. So I hope you can join me next time, YouTube. I appreciate you stopping by and joining me this time. So until uh, that next time comes, be well, take care, and we'll talk to you then.